tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. It's another uh, Wednesday and uh, we're one month away from Christmas. And our, to our topic for tonight is the element of fire. So, uh, let's get hot. Let's focus on how to play with fire and profit from it. Okay? When I say play with fire, play with uh, fire businesses. So, by the way, these businesses are uh, very good for people with fire element and those who produce fire, uh, wood people, and uh, those that uh, fire produces, earth people. So three types of people can benefit largely from uh, this list of businesses. And of course, the two other people who can destroy fire, like uh, earth can destroy fire, water can destroy fire. So if you're a water element person and an earth element person, you can uh, enter into fire businesses. An example would be you can enter a restaurant business which is practically fire based. So the rule in Feng Shui is no different from any other games people play or enter into trade. There's what we call uh, this law. Know the trade first before you do the tricks of the trade especially when you play with fire businesses otherwise you can get burned okay so I invited the uh, clients of mine husband and wife team again uh, who have uh, begun a successful venture into this business they call it Ikbestichon so let's welcome the proprietors and founders of Ikbestichon uh, Ferds or Ferdinand Medina and his wife Emily on board. Okay. Hello, Master. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Good evening. Magandang gabi <laughs> sa inyo lahat. By yes, the way, uh, go right into the meat of the matter. Okay. Uh, let's uh, focus first to kickstart our program before we go deeply into the lechon business. Let's walk through or run through the fire businesses uh, what we usually do so people your classmates have an idea of what possible ventures to enter into when we talk about fire okay so and in between uh, you've noticed in our past episodes as icebreaker if I ask it, you uh, how do you feel Please shout out loud. Last week, we featured the millionaire's wine, uh, but they were asking, how does it look like? So here we were posting a picture. This is from a place in Intramuros. It's a tourist area place, but it's doing good. But you notice the millionaire's wine on the screen, it has red roots that go down, no? So when the roots turn red, uh, they say millions come in no, in business. Okay, so that's one tip for you in your stores where there's space for a plant like this. Do do so even in your home. The most is in your farm. Then the other is this lettuce plant, which is the real money plant. Um, marami nyan in your area. No, in fact, uh, this uh, picture was taken. Uh, uh, up front lang ng konti sa area nyo uh, sa, in, in Balanga, Basaan no? oh, okay. but along the highway Balanga, yung mga plant shops there they sell a lot of this lettuce plant okay? that's the lettuce. money thing in Feng Shui okay, so business example uh, let's proceed uh, can you help me read? no? And also, I love you. Okay. okay. So, fire based enterprises number one, restaurants, number two, bakery, uh, school canteen, office canteen, 
commissary services, catering service, service, online food business. Okay. Next. Next slide, please. Coffee shop, tea shop, food ben- vendor, food manufacturing, snack foods manufacturing, industrial in-flight catering, industrial shop vessel catering. Okay. Uh, two things differentiate there. Yung sa airplanes, in-flight catering, katulad ng uh, Macro Asia, no? Uh, sa ship vessel catering, they call this normally chandlery, no? Yung mga inter-island vessels, may uh, concessionaires na yan, nag-provide yung sa canteen services, meals, uh, in their uh, uh, package or in their cafeteria. Okay. We have industrial cafeterias, um, bread factory, biscuits factory, condiments factory, food exporter, food products consolidator, food doll manufacturing, street food stand, cook, peanut stand, uh, pork barbecue stand, burger shop, chicken barbecue stand, cooked egg stand, shop outlet. Okay, here one funny footnote lang. We're the only country ata in the world where at Edsa or Ross Boulevard, somebody is cooking <laughs> peanuts or corn, di ba? Saka rito, on cart. No? In heavy traffic at that, no? Even lately, C6, okay? Or C5, okay? So, uh, uh, an Instagrammable site to behold in the Philippines type of business. Okay, next uh, slide, please. Uh, we have Shaw My Stand, Roast Chicken Kiosk, Roast Duck Kiosk, Roast Goose Stand, Fish Ball Stand, Squid Ball Stand, pork. and Pork Bun Sandwich Stand. Okay. Ang pinaka-remarkable dito, mostly are copied na from Asian countries, no? Street food, uh, popularized uh, from Taco Stand to uh, Shaw My Stand. Here in the Philippines, sumikat yung show my stand sa mga MRT station, no? Uh, I will not mention na lang brands para uh, it's fair to all the others. Ang dami namang show my stand, no? And uh, pinaka, ano, is in Macau, when you visit uh, the St. Paul Church area, the most popular favorite snack food there na you haven't been to Macau if you haven't tasted it, is the pork bun sandwich. It's something that later we will discuss na potential. It's just a pork chop on a big uh, hamburger uh, dinner bun. bun. No? So it's very filling. But it's a top seller in uh, Macau. No? Okay, next uh, stand please. Okay, and we have pizza. Oh, slide. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, pizza parlor or stand, roast milkfish stand, fried peanuts cart, boiled and or steamed peanuts cart, cooked ham store, noodle factory, and noodle shop. Okay, especially now in terms of comfort food, pinaka leading pa rin na pinaka comfort food for family, uh, for online or delivery or even. Uh, uh, sit in, dine in is the pizza parlor, no? So of course, popularized here by a uh, famous uh, all the American franchises, no? But uh, locally, marami na rin. Like uh, in uh, Ilocos, when you go somewhere in Hawaii, they have their own uh, native pizza there. I think it's even lechon pizza, no? I forgot. Lechon the, pizza. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I forgot the topping. It's uh, from their local, ano? If it's not uh, if it's not the chorizo, uh, it's a uh, lechon, no? Uh, Metal forming, foundry, any manufacturing using boiler or fire, welding products, rubber products manufacturing, crem- crematorium services, waste disposal, incinerator. Okay. Ah, uh, yun yung ano yung uh, lalo na yung waste disposal. Malaki ang pera sa basura. No? Uh, I understand for Metro Manila alone, I think the monthly income from uh, uh, waste disposal systems is uh, around 6 billion a month. Okay? 
Okay. Wow. So something you can uh, consider in your provinces or area, even landfill, no? uh, as waste disposal system. Okay. So next uh, slide, please. <laughs> Electric power company, electric lighting products, electric generators uh, business, electric cooking appliances manufacturing and selling, electric supplies, electric transformers, and electric power transmission supplier. Okay. I used to have a client, an Indonesian married to a Filipino wife. Each time there's a storm or a very disaster causing a typhoon they're very happy because when these transmission towers are down they're the ones who supply the government okay oh. so they have to replenish others would be i have a client now also na, who provides these electric poles yung uh, metal poles that they're like a telescopic they can be adjusted and they come in various girth or width no so each time there's disaster, uh, just like the seasonal factor, uh, they gain far more than the projected uh, income for the year. Okay. So next slide, please. Electric cooperative, events firm, entertainment company, talent and promotions agency, PR agency, advertising business, and radio station. Okay. Why are they related to fire business? Fire also represents fame. Okay, so somebody that's involved in increasing one's rating or promoting uh, uh, popularity is fire business like PR, advertising, oh. and uh, the like, oh. uh, even publicity. Okay, so uh, something new for you, uh, for D. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's not all literally. Uh, phosphorus no? or fire base uh, it's also symbolic of fame okay so next slide please television station social media filmmaking business show business politics political campaign services nightclub okay so makikita natin uh, yung last item nightclub Especially <laughs> here near my place, uh, Quezon Boulevard, okay? Uh, this is where uh, in Feng Shui, some people can play with fire, no? If you're a fire, you're a fire element, may mga tao or some people are destined na you can make money in anything devilish, no? Or... Chinese called Hao Xiao or Catholics call uh, immoral businesses. No? Bibinka or rice cake stand, Boko mm-hmm. Pie Bakery, Cassava mm-hmm. Cake Bakery, Barquillos oh. Factory, Grilled Innards or Isao Stand, Konji oh. Lugo Stand, Bachoy Store. Okay, so almost everybody has heard of Manglari Isao Stand in UP. No? <laughs> Uh, especially those who graduated from uh, uh, UP and the popularity of Isao spreads to the provinces. Okay, and it's a very fast-moving item as a comfort street food. Okay, so are we into the last slice? Okay, beef jerky or tapa store, bulalo store. Grilled milk fish stand, boiled squid stand, roasted cashew kiosk, pork rind store, balut or incubated duck egg vendor. Okay, yung tapas store, uh, yung para pare, so ano, it started in the 70s, nung nauso na yung uh, drinking, and after drinking, kain ng tap si Lob, no? But would you mind, uh, I was surprised, I had a, uh, my client, owner of Tapakin. Guess what? Tapa King pala has branches in Dubai. Wow. wow. And I think they might even enter Japan, no? Tokyo. Okay. Because of the major uh, clientele abroad is also Filipinos. No? Uh, yeah. Domestic helpers. Just the way they crave for Jollibee abroad. Same for uh, local fairs like this. 
Okay? So that's the whole gamut of, uh, at least these are just samples of 168 businesses. First of all, <laughs> can you share, share with us where you went to school abroad and what you specialized in or majored in? Okay, Master, uh, I graduated sa California State University. Uh -huh. I took oh, up animal uh -huh. science, agribusiness, uh -huh. which is from production of farm animals, mm -hmm. hanggang sa ma ma maging business sila or may market sila. That's uh -huh. what I took up in uh, the America. The commercialization of farm animals. Uh, yes, yes. The husbandry, yung veterinary. Pagkasama ng animal husbandry. Okay, so... Uh, Hindi tayo nagkakalayo. Ako naman, uh, naging specialist ako sa ibang klaseng animal husbandry, yung Chinese social animal, uh, Chinese social animal science. <laughs> <laughs> yung year of the dog, year of the tiger, <laughs> yung anong klaseng hayop ka. Okay? So, this time, let's focus on the year of the pig. Okay? The lechon. Okay? Uh, so, with that, when you came back to the Philippines, you pioneered something unique, uh, the Echo Pig program, no? of which I had yeah. the benefit of visiting your farm in uh, Angeles, right? Right, um, your, Master, your... kasi ano, um, yung professor ko sa America, which, who is a Filipino also, told me na which is the best uh, I, I really focused on pigs America, but nung pag pag ko sa Philippines, sabi nung professor kong Filipino, first, why don't you po focus on native animals ng Pilipinas? Sabi ko, uh, professor, eh, medyo maliliit yung native animals namin. Bakit yun? Bakit sabi niya, ang mga Pilipino ba, malalaki o maliliit? Sabi ko, Mal maliit rin. O, di tama, di native animals ang ano mo, focusan mo. Ang focus sa mo rin is native pigs kasi yan ang pinag-aralan mo dito sa Amerika. Habang nandito ka, you were you were working with us as swine unit. Eh, diyan ka expert. So you might as well focus on native pigs. Kaya doon kami napunta doon sa tinawag namin Eco Pig. And, um, ano, it's more environmentally friendly, sa, especially sa Philippines. At the same time, uh, economical siya sa ano, alagaan at pakainin. Uh, because they just feed on grasses or uh, kung shrub. kung ano man meron tayong vegetable na uh, uh, leftovers mga natural. fruits mga natural Feeding. na pagkain na nakakain nila dati sa bundok yung oh. when they were roaming around yan sila so very ano sila very flexible sa pagkain nila sa diet in master we supply about 10 10 uh, lechon outlets before mm -hmm. kaya ang demand ngayon napakalaki uh, just, I'll, I'll give you a, yung isang malaking pangalan, si Lidias Lechon. Oh, Lidias. Oh. Si uh, uh, they, the Roca. Uh, uh, they, uh, they use 12,000 pigs Lidia. every December. Mm -hmm. How many? 12,000 pigs, native pigs. Wow. Every so December. Nice. December every alone lang, 12,000 ang ano nila. Wow. Consumption nila. Grabe. And now... So, uh, two years ago, you mentioned to me yung requirement ng ano, which you couldn't even fill up uh, yung sa Ricos, around how many pigs per month or day ba yun? Oh, sa, sa Ricos, uh, they were asking from us about 300 pigs every week. Week? To supply them per week. And uh, of course, we cannot supply them. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah we're encouraging a lot of backyard farmers to help us. That's why you entered into contract growing. Yes. So we have that the franchise of capacity. contract breeding with other partner farms. So at this point, uh, this is where we can uh, introduce an entrepreneurial potential business for listeners or your classmates, especially uh, frustrated farmers as well as uh, politicians. No? The most yes. politicians have the grassroots connection to the farmers in their respective uh, constituencies in the provinces. Right. They can tie up with you and propagate the growing of native pigs. Huh? Yes. And uh, this can benefit them 
two ways. Uh, well, of course, uh, commercially, in terms of uh, making profits as a business venture, and politically, uh, you become popular in big dispersal in the community. Right. Well, actually, ngayon, Master, na ano, uh, supporter rin kami, yung Philippine Native Animal Development Act, okay. na na sinulong na sa government and all we need is the support of the ano uh, the congressman and the senators to mm-hmm. to promote it sa mga LGUs and may market naman the problem is parang hindi masyadong na ano eh napapansin kaya maybe with this ano with, with this baka mas mapansin tayo ng mga lawmakers natin Tsaka very grassroots, lalo na ngayon, yung mga gustong bumangon from disaster. Is yes, yes. Uh, recovery formula to, ano. So, shout out tayo sa mga LGU, sa mga governors. Uh, I don't know, something they can focus on, on the side. Right. For sustainable uh, recovery and development in their respective areas. Because of the continuous demand for the native pigs, mm-hmm. um, um, we have partners uh, who does uh, raising of the pigs for us, so we, we provide them with. Uh, of course, there's an investment, and then um, they let us look at their farm. Um, kung conducive for raising uh, native pigs, kung may facilities na sila, because we're not encouraging them to be spending so much uh, to build yung mga facilities nila. Marami po kasi dyan na. Uh, parang nagtigiri na before uh, uh, na commercial tapos nagsara due to different reasons even ASF for example um, tapos uh, na, na, nalinis na nila and everything pero nakatenga lang so mm. we're, we're since they have the facility already and they know how to manage pigs kasi ang management naman ho ng pigs um of course, easier on the native rather than the commercial, because very, ba, very special and treatment nila sa commercial. Um, so yun po, uh, yung mga gustong uh, farmers na yon na uh, continue naman na kumita parin yung yung lugar nila. Um, they signed up with us to um, to uh, breed uh, pigs, native pigs for us, because kami naman. Um, uh, because of the expansion of the of the lechon business, at the same time like, we're still supplying other um, lechon uh, businesses. Opo, eh, we cannot right now because of the the limited number of, <laughs> ngayon, supplies, right? of supply. So, um, uh, especially in those areas na hindi naman apektuhan, for example, ng pandemics, uh, pandemics like ASF. Um, they can help uh, the industry, the native pig industry, to survive. That's another thing. But at the same time, of course, business-wise, they will earn by just uh, raising the the pigs and uh, using natural feeding materials that they have, uh, using their existing facilities. Um, and then, kapag po nanganak na yung baboy, we even, buy them all. even at uh, two months old or even less, we buy them already. So, hindi naman sila kailangang magpakain pa ng napakaraming baboy itong kumasa ng marami. Uh, minimize, na? So, may, may, mga, uh, sup- uh, may buyer na. Para kayong mga mini uh, San Miguel when it comes to contact growing, let's say, for chicken or ano, this time you're using it for pigs, na? Yes, yes. native pigs. Uh, and at the same time, as yeah, at the same time, Master, doon naman sa mga uh, LGUs, for example, um, they can help their constituents. Right. Kasi, let's face it, yung mga, especially in the provinces, they're familiar with raising pigs, di ba? The they're pigs. the native pigs, and they don't even have to spend. Kasi nandun lang sila sa, sa bakod, di ba? Okay. Pinapakain na prutas. Yeah, sample mo yung calderia autonomous region. Like the like in uh, Kalinga for example in uh, tama no? Yeah, yeah. That's the place. The car region. Car. The car region there's a project well there was a project plan before to, to disperse uh, pigs para they will take care of them and then sila rin yung parang 
the, the production, the produce will be gathered and then we will we will buy them all. We will buy them all. Uh, so so surviving species of special herbs, especially in Qatar, uh, they still use to marinate no? uh, or spice up the uh, lechon. So that's one secret in Cebu. What we discovered on the way back at the Mactan airport while we were having pizza at the bar and beer, uh, offhand, we asked the chef if he knows anything about lechon. Oh, he was so proud that he was lechonero for half of his life before he became a formal uh, culinary chef. Uh, and he said, you know, sir, there's only one secret here in Cebu, largely, that makes instantly tasteful lechon commercially. And guess what? What's Every that, Master? Vetsin. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. We don't use so, that. Uh, not to deride any brand or what, but that's the truth in a common uh, commercialized, especially uh, white pig, no? uh, using white pig uh, lechon. Okay. Right. So that's the second second uh, eye-opener secret for uh, tonight. The third was how do you have tender, juicy lechon? And first, the favorite of lechon eaters is the skin, as you mentioned. Uh, That's right. Native we got the advantage, crispy skin. No? Uh, and it does not stick with the fat. Okay? Uh, the the muscles it slides off easily uh, that's another secret but first on the skin another secret in the process of uh, cooking which you showed us is caramelizing as you mentioned it caramelizing uh, the skin yeah how to make the skin uh, uh, crispy and right. color, attractively colored can you share with us the uh, techniques Actually, um, our lechon, oh, with regards to the skin, we just use. Um, you can use different, different. Uh, uh, marination. marination. Um, uh, there's just the toyo, which uh, mm. which is used by a lot. Toyo lang po siya. Iba molasses. Um, ours, we use soft drinks. We coined the name Lechonilio to, uh, to, to, highlight, to highlight that it's a uh, lechon and a cochinillo at the same time. And we're using native piglets, premium native piglets. Uh, because nga naturally raised sila, no vaccine, no antibiotics. And now they're very much in demand. Uh, we, we have already a brand. Our main branch is in Angeles City. And we we have now a, a, a branch, a branch in in, yeah. in uh, Naia in Paranaque, and we have a branch in Green Hills and in Taytay. These are the uh, wow. best super roasters, naman. We we serve uh, lechon manok, kapampangan lechon manok, uh, lechon belly, um, and lechonito, the de leche, the and traditional de leche, charcoal. and they're all uh, charcoal roasted. What are your Facebook links? Okay, our Facebook pages are uh, Ikbes Lechon, and then we also have Lechonilio, the native Cochinilio, and then we have the Ikbes uh, Lechon Naia Terminal 1, uh -huh. and then we have the Super Roaster. Uh, Ikbes Super Roasters Tai Tai, and we have Ikbes Super Roasters Green Hills, which will be opening this uh, coming December. Uh, I so, your, your franchise are. Mainly, uh, ano, patronized by franchises, OFWs, like what you have now. Uh, you're for, you also manage for them, no? As OFWs. Yes, master. Yeah, we have uh, the, the franchise that we have for Tai Tai and Green Hills are uh, um, are uh, ano, uh, franchisee from, from abroad. And uh, we can also manage it for them. Um, uh, we are also accepting of 
uh, partners for ano naman for the area commissary for the best uh, super lechon in Manila. You know what's a good uh, market grid I noticed now is uh, this Cavitex area because of the nice road network now and it cuts across subdivision activities. Uh, the market is very large, especially for restaurants or uh, uh, franchises like this. No. Yeah. South, south area. Aside from other provinces. Yeah. So, so the yung gamitin mo yung porcelain plate, metal plate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, okay. that's the revelation there for you tonight. Uh, at least you know your earth and your uh, metal. Okay? okay? So, I think uh, with that, uh, we are, we might run over time. There's a remaining minute. We might just leave, leave it to a commercial from uh, our sponsors. Uh, thank you. And tandaan na lang, sa ikaunlad ng bayan, lechon ay Pong. sa pungsoy. Pinungsoy na lechon ang kailangan. Okay. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next episode only here on Big Media.